Hey y'all, it's Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is your energy update. We're going to check you guys out. So if you're dealing with your twin flame, you know in fact this is your twin flame. This is definitely the reading for you. Um, we're going to see what's going on with your person behind the scenes. What's happening? What are they not saying? We're going to look at the energy, okay? So this taps into feelings, thoughts, intentions, desires. All right, so let's jump right in. Again, um, I'm Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot. I also have another channel called Serendipity Tarot where I do love readings for all the zodiac signs. So you may find that channel to be beneficial to look up the sun, moon, rising, being a sun of you and your person. Get some additional insight as to what's going on. I also do tarot readings, um, personal tarot readings. They're video recorded as well as through Etsy message. Check me out. All the information is in the description box. All right, let's see what's going on. Messages for the twins out there. What's going on behind the scenes? What do we need to know? Ooh, a card that flew out. We have shadow. So someone is doing some shadow work, right? We have someone looking at themselves in the mirror, okay? So there's a reflection. And what it looks like is that your person's seeing a reflection of themselves, right? It looks like your person could be definitely realizing something, to, coming to some kind of epiphany regarding this connection, how they showed out, okay, the way they behave. Um, it feels like your person may have certainly done something that they're not proud of, okay? And now there's shadow work to be done. And this is something that could have been avoided. I'm hearing it's been avoided for a really long time. And now they see their reflection in the mirror, it's like a surprise to them. Like, oh my gosh, I acted that way. So I'm seeing definitely shadow work to be done. We have the full card, New Beginnings. Okay, this is the New Beginnings card. So what it looks like is that your person wants another chance, right? But it feels like in order to have that chance, there's work to be done. And this shadow work, you know, this card, I mean, it may show you like, okay, this person's seeing themselves, but you may not be knowing what this person's really going through, right? The shadow side isn't always, it's not pleasant. It can be very uncomfortable. It can be marked with a lot of chaos and uncertainty, questioning yourself, right? It could be a lot of things that are changing behind the scenes. So I feel like this is helping your person prepare for this new beginning that they want, that they seek with you. Now, if you know anything about the fool, it requires this person to put themselves out there, right? They got to be willing to change and transform. They have to be willing to see love and connections and partnership and commitment differently. I'm also seeing this new beginnings as like something that they could be afraid of, okay? There's a fear that comes with this new beginning. What is it going to look like? Am I prepared for this new beginning? Will my person accept me when I come in for this new beginning? So there's a lot that's going on. We have obstacles and challenges. Yeah. So this is like the five of wands. And if you see this card, this is someone here that's afraid to take the next step, right? There's a little bit of a gap. So for some of you guys, your person hasn't reached out to you in a while. There's a gap in time, right? Um, this could be also someone that just fell through, you know, you, you couldn't rely on them. It's like all of a sudden they may have disappeared. So there's something here where they're having to mend it first. In order to walk across, there's something here that has to be mended or fixed, right because how silly would it look like if this person just jumped right in jumped right in and and just came and knocked at your door there's something that has to be done to support this new beginning okay so it looks like your person's working on having this new beginning with you but it's going to require them to work through these challenges right these obstacles these issues that they brought to this connection okay it's not going to go away on its own um we have the waiting game so, yeah, I'm seeing the energy. A lot of you, you may have been waiting for this person to finally do the right thing, to step up to the plate, to commit, right? To, um, if they made promises to you, you're waiting for this person to live out their promise. It feels like you're the one who's been waiting on this person and they've been taking their time. They've been procrastinating. And it feels like something here may have happened where a lot of you, you may have decided, I'm not waiting anymore. I don't see progress being made. I don't see this person actually like doing better, improving themselves, right? I don't see them trying. This could be someone here who may have put you in a really bad position and you may have trusted this person. You may have counted on them, relied on them for a lot. You may have even been dependent on this person. And when they let you down, 
it was pretty drastic it was pretty dramatic for you I even feel like this person had many chances okay with the waiting game it gives me the energy that you waited because you thought something good was coming out of it obviously you love this person you cared for them and you thought they were worth waiting for I'm also seeing the energy of maybe this person even apologizing and getting back on your good side because you knew you believed in them you almost knew that they would eventually do better. So there, there could have been a lot of waiting going on. I'm hearing like years you waited on this person. Um, we have the heart chakra. So there's definitely some healing of the heart chakra, which is telling me the heart has been wounded, right? The heart is a muscle and it feels like it's been wounded. It's been pierced, okay? Some of you guys, you were betrayed by this person. You were stabbed in the back by this person. And it feels like now there's an energy of healing, Right, taking time to heal, thinking about something that may have happened and purging, letting go that which does not serve you. Now, your person could be healing of the heart chakra as well. And that's part of the shadow side. That's part of doing the shadow work. It's going to require this person to feel. And a lot of you, this person didn't want to feel, right? That could have been a problem in itself. This person didn't want to feel the connection. They didn't want to have that strong emotional connection they didn't want to be vulnerable they don't want to put their emotions and wear their heart in their sleeves and so what it looks like is that your person the universe is saying no you gotta feel right maybe there's something from the past or childhood wounds uh trauma they've gone through they ignored it they push it aside and say i don't want to deal with it but no spirit is saying you got to heal these wounds in order to be able to use this heart muscle in order to be able to find new love and give yourself to this love you have to heal first so i see that energy here we have accelerated motion so this is the eight of wands so the eight of wands talks about movement change progress it's also the love messages card right in tarot it's it's about love messages moving moving uh, moving forward reaching out taking a step in expressing love but in this particular deck it feels like there's there's the energy overall wanting some kind of movement forward right wanting to still be connected to you wanting to come back in it feels like your person's looking at the horizon and it's like they see their life with you they see their future with you they're thinking about what their future looks like right now and right now it may not be too bright it may feel like your person is going the wrong way and so now your person's thinking what can I do differently, right? What are some things I can do differently? How do I get the movement or see the change that I want in my life, right? So we have the nine of swords, suffering and silence. So a lot of you, you don't know that your person's suffering behind closed doors. There's the energy of the nine of swords where your person's in distress, right? It's like they want someone they can call for help but they know damn well that they put themselves in this position so they can't call anyone right they can't reach out to you and you know like cry and give you those tears because this is what they did so now there's the energy of like in silence in isolation right there's no communication going on and your person's really reliving and rethinking of the past and this brings them a lot of anxiety fears stress right and it's something here that again a spirit wants them to go through it's part of their shadow work this has to be done so this suffering in silence is something they have to go through as like a rite of passage to make their way back to you having this new beginning we also have balance so what it looks like is that your person is striving for more balance in their life this is someone that may have not been able to Focus on you. Focus on the connection, the love that you and them had because it was so focused and fixated on giving other people attention of trying to find out what the latest um, uh, event that was going on in town, right? This is someone that just may have not been very good at balancing their love life with their entertainment, social life, right? With their family life, with their career, their work life. It feels like there was some kind of issue or there was a lack of reciprocity in the connection, right? Because this person was not giving you enough. You may have felt neglected or abandoned at times, but it feels like this person just didn't know how to find balance in all that they did. So that could have been an ongoing struggle. And this is something that they're having to deal with now, right? They're having to actually um, find balance. Um, and it starts from within. 
right? There could be something here within your person. They feel like they're missing something. They could be very insecure. Um, so there's something within themselves that have to be healed first. All right, let's see. Any other messages? Secrets. Holding back, hiding facts. So a lot of you, you're dealing with someone who may have been a secret keeper. I'm hearing that things were not shared with you. There are things this person did that they kept things on the hush. They were very tight-lipped about. And it feels like they intentionally kept those things from you because they knew that you wouldn't like it. They knew that you wouldn't approve, right, of their doing, of their dealings, who they were dealing with. So that could have been something here that was very difficult. You knew this person was maybe lying, but it feels like, you know, th there's something here where you waited for change. You waited for this person to just do better. Now, we also have contemplation. It feels like your person's contemplating on telling you a secret on disclosing some kind of information to you. They're um, trying, I'm getting weighing options, okay? Weighing weighing options as to whether they can tell you this because there's just someone here who's in a dark place and it feels like they know they have to eventually come clean, but it's a big decision for them. So this is kind of like that two swords energy. Feeling stuck, wanting movement, right? And it's only a matter of time. It feels like this secret is gonna come out. So they're kind of like, well, maybe I should tell them, okay? We're going to find more about what this secret is, but it feels like there's something that, something regarding the heart chakra. It could be regarding their feelings for you that they kept the secret. It could be also regarding someone else, right? They kept the secret um, that may have interfered in this connection with you, right? Their love for you. So heavy thinking, this is someone that's also stressing themselves out because they're thinking about telling you something, but they don't want to, right? There's something about, let me hold it back. Marriage. So your person can be thinking about their future and what marriage can look like with you. We have accelerated motion toward marriage, toward a forever commitment. So this person could have had issues with commitment. That's what it looks like to me. This person may have saw commitment in a very negative light. This is someone that could have grew up, grew up with people who were not, you know, maybe were had marriages but not healthy marriages, may have had toxic marriages, may have also had family or friends and who just never got married, right? And so it feels like your person is rethinking this now. Accelerate emotion towards some kind of commitment, life commitment, forever a, 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 a forever a commitment to you, right? This is someone that is rethinking on what commitment would look like. They may have felt like it would have been a big sacrifice for them. They would have given up a lot of their power, a lot of their freedom. And that could have been something they were not ready for but now they're thinking about it so it feels like if there was a negative view on commitment it may be turning into a more positive view yeah we have bad influences here so bad influences talk about people who don't support them unsupportive family friends maybe they were very negative or toxic maybe they weren't approving of this connection i'm also seeing just them hanging around the wrong people it says drugs, alcohol, bad habits. So this person could have had a lot of things that they did and it feels like their family, their friends, the people they kept around was perfectly fine with whatever they did. They supported your person doing these bad behaviors, right? It was, it was almost like you had to tell your person about themselves and they didn't want to hear it. So what they, what they did was push you away and they kept all the toxic, negative influences, bad people around their energy. So it feels like no matter what you did, no matter what you told them, they would not listen, right? They would not listen. So there's a bad, a lot of negative influences around them. And this makes it much more difficult for this person to go in the right direction, to want to improve, to get out of this uh, energy where they've been in that's been very toxic for them as well. It is safe for you to love, take action, leap of faith. So there's something about... This person felt it was not safe to open up their heart to you. It was not safe. So there could have been issues regarding them giving their heart to someone and it was stomped, right? It was stomped on. They were betrayed. They were taken advantage of. So now your person's thinking, well, is it safe now, right? Can I open up my heart to my person? It feels like your person wanted to open up to you, but they didn't feel it was safe. They were afraid. They were in fear, afraid that maybe they would be hurt. Afraid that maybe the hurt they caused you, they would feel it, right? So there's definitely a fear, but now there's movement toward wanting that kind of change. Wanting to be safe to love. Wanting forever commitment, right? 
We also have attraction. So a lot of you guys, they're still very much attracted to you, wanting more insatiable thoughts. So I feel like right now your person more than ever is having a lot of desire for you. There's passion. There's a desire to connect. There's a desire to feel each other in the flesh, to be physical, to be intimate with each other. It feels like your person has not moved on, okay? You could be dealing with a fire sign, someone who's very fiery and very energetic, okay? They have a strong desire still for you. And that has not gone away. So let's get some more messages for my twins out there. I hope you guys enjoy this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, what else do we need to know about this person? What is going on with that secret card? What is the secret that they didn't say? Two of Wands. So they're at a crossroads still regarding a secret. Two of Wands, that, that contemplation card came out right here. So there's a lot of... There's the energy of like, should I or should I not? Yes or no, right? Do I tell them what I'm feeling? Or, do, you know, you, do I tell you what I'm feeling? Or do I hold back? So there's a lot of contemplation. This is a big decision for them right now. So this could be someone who's very indecisive. But there's something about like the cause and effect. It's also telling me that this person could be feeling like if I tell them my secret, perhaps they'll never forgive me. Perhaps they'll look at me even worse, right? So it feels like they may have covered up something with a lie and now they want to maybe tell you what that lie is. They want to come clean regarding that lie. Seven of Cups. Yeah, because this is someone here that's becoming more clear that you were the better option for them, right? There may have been a lot of opportunities in love, a lot of love interests. This person could have had other people they were talking to simultaneously. But they're realizing that you were the best option. You were the person that they always wanted. Seven of Cups in verse is also telling me there's the energy of this person realizing that They've gotten themselves in a really bad situation, a pickle, right? There's been a lot of illusions that have been created um, regarding a situation, maybe regarding this ending. And now your person's seeing through that, right? They're seeing truth. They're getting clarity about what this was on what it could actually move toward, right? This person is actually saying, wow, this relationship, this connection, I could have had a commitment with this person. I could have married this person, um, you, right? So it feels like your person is definitely um, coming to some kind of big realization, the hermit, and it's during their time alone, during their time in hermit, during their time of deep introspection, when they're spending time alone, disconnecting from these toxic negative influences, whether this could be family, this could be a mother or a father figure who didn't approve of the connection, it could be like a, a close best friend or that they've had that is toxic for them that has been influencing them in a way that has told them to move away from this connection, that has not supported the connection. And it feels like these negative influences are now taking a toll on them where they need to disconnect. They need to stay in hermit, right? This could be a Virgo, where they want they want to like now disconnect from that so that they can think to themselves, right? They can come with their own opinion. Forever commitment. Yeah, the devil in a verse. So there's something regarding commitment, regarding marriage here that they're they're letting go. Something toxic, something here that was negative, a negative view. Maybe they thought commitment would, you know, or marriage in general would make them, um, you know, the person that they don't want to be. It would put too many restrictions on their life, right? Limitations. They wouldn't be able to do what they want to do. They wouldn't be able to go out and have fun. And it feels like whatever those negative, toxic, self-limiting thoughts, beliefs regarding marriage, whatever those were, they're actually letting it go. Capricorn energy, the devil. They're now ready to set themselves free from it because it does not serve them anymore. And it's only keeping them from experiencing the love that they truly want with you. So that is being released, okay? Those toxic um, ways of thinking, beliefs, ideas regarding marriage and commitment, and we have the King of Pentacles. They're getting themselves together. King of Pentacles is a very beautiful energy for someone who is ready, who's stable, who's solid, who's committed, who's connected to themselves, grounded, right? Good family values. This is someone who wants stability. They're thinking about long term, thinking about their life investments. They want to be that um, father figure or mother figure. They want to have children. They want to have family. This is someone that is definitely thinking about their life and they want to go down the right path. King of Pentacles for me is definitely someone who's willing to do the work because they know the importance of hard work, right? Toward getting what they want for the long term. They're not trying to just 
you know, have fun and they're not, they're not all about their passionate desires. And, you know, typically the King of Pentacles puts in the hard work, the time, the energy. And we have the Four of Swords in first. So, and I'm seeing the energy where this person may have been very stressed. Again, that suffering in silence. It feels like after a very long time of being disconnected from you, this person is going to come out of Hermit. Four of Swords in verse. This person is going to come out of this place of rest, of recovering, of deep thinking, right? Four of Swords can be going in this energy of um, silence and ghosting. But there's a lot on their mind. There's a lot of swords, right? Nine of Swords, Four of Swords. And there's a lot of mental conflict and turmoil that it feels like they needed this downtime to get some kind of clear head or have a clear space to think. So with the King of Pentacles, the fact that they're leaving out, that the, they're letting go of this devil energy, this toxic mindset, Four of Swords, they, they have time to now think about something. They're now thinking about their position in this connection, King of Pentacles, and they wanted to go down a certain path. The King of Pentacles is really good for that, for staying on the right path for not venturing off, right? Staying on the right path, moving forward and doing the right thing. And it says it's safe for you to love. So now this person feels safe. They're, they're learning on, um, you know, this about security, stability. And they're feeling, you know what? It's okay to open up. It's okay to open up my heart to love. It's okay to, to find that person and want to give everything to them, right? Give that, every, that last shirt off your back. And we have the Ten of Wands, but there's still some burdens that they're working through. Ten of Wands speaks about them hitting an ending in their life where something's very heavy, it's very difficult, it's very burdensome to carry. With this Ten of Wands, it's make, making me feel that this is past energy, like there's emotional baggage that they're still carrying regarding you. Um, and they want to move forward, right? It's safe for you to love, take action, leap of faith. They want to move forward and they, they're beginning to feel safe to do so, but they also feel like, oh my gosh, I'm carrying this heavy weight of what I did to my person. I'm carrying all the hurt that I caused them, right? It's not going to go away overnight. So that is something that they're working on, releasing the Ten of Wands, Page of Wands to come in, to communicate, to take action, Five of Cups. So the biggest thing is, is their emotions, right? Five of Cups is emotions. It's loss. It's grief. It's remorse. I can't believe I hurt you. I'm sorry. Um, I wish I had done better. I wish I was there for you. Five of Cups, your person is reliving the past, reliving what they could have done differently. Page of Wands in a verse. They would love to be able to move forward, but there's, there's still that insecurity there, right? They're trying to work away, away from. They're trying to let down the burden of the past. Five of Cups, regrets, remorse. So that is what I'm seeing, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. And of course, you know I have my other channel, Serendipity Tarot. Check out your sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. And everything's on the Etsy shop. If you want a personal tarot reading yourself, if you want to purchase any of my decks, um, I have it there as well. So you guys all have a great weekend. Take care. Bye.